What if I told you that every time you urinate, you flush away potentially valuable nutrients? This is urine, the liquid gold of wastewater. Human urine is considered liquid gold because of its high essential nutrient content, with nitrogen being the most dominant nutrient. Most of the nitrogen in human urine is in the form of urea, which is the most frequently used fertilizer by farmers globally. However, urea is produced synthetically via the energy-intensive Haberbosch process, which reacts nitrogen from the air with hydrogen from natural gas under high temperatures and pressures to produce ammonia. This contributes significantly to greenhouse emissions. Now, the African continent has the largest area of arable land, with the sub-Saharan region accounting for 20% of the global agricultural land by area. However, fertilizer used for food production in Africa remains very low because these synthetic fertilizers are often expensive for most small-scale farmers. Therefore, the aim of my research was to develop an affordable and sustainable way of producing urea by extracting it from human urine. This would address multiple sustainable development goals, including responsible consumption and production and zero hunger. We started by collecting the urine using waterless urinals and then treated it. Urine is made mainly of water, urea and impurities. So we isolated the water by evaporating it from the urine at room temperature. This produced a solid product of urea and impurities with a urea purity of 42%. This was not good enough for us. So we improved the purity by adding ethanol. We discovered that urea is highly soluble in ethanol while all the other impurities are barely soluble. Therefore, adding ethanol to the solid product dissolved all the urea and left the undissolved impurities behind to be filtered out. This resulted in a urea ethanol solution, which was then recrystallized by evaporating the ethanol. This increased the purity to a range between 76% and 91%. We then designed a system treating one cubic meters of urine per day, which could potentially recover 11.5 kilograms of calcium phosphate, a byproduct of the urine treatment process and a potential fertilizer, and 20 kilograms of urea. We also discovered that we could produce a niche urea liquid fertilizer and use the remainder to make diesel engine fluid, a fluid used to reduce air pollution caused by vehicles. Water could be recovered through this process and used to make these products. And here's a bonus, ethanol can be condensed back into a liquid and reused. So imagine a community using waterless urinals to supply a nearby urea recovery plant operated and maintained by them to produce urea fertilizer and diesel engine fluid. The fluid could be supplied to the vehicle industry while the urea gets transported to nearby farms to produce food. This is what an integrated, prosperous and peaceful Africa driven by its own citizens looks like. This is the Africa we want. Thank you.